Assalamu alaikum, I'm engineer Hamna Shakil and in this video I will be showing you how to extract these values from the data. The first value is for the ultimate strength and ultimate strength is the maximum value of stress in the data. So I'm going to use this formula of equal to max bracket open select this whole range of stress data press enter. So this is the value of ultimate strength of the concrete cylinder that we have tested and its unit is PSI. S2 is the stress corresponding to 40% of the ultimate load. So I'm going to take the 40% of the ultimate strength and this will give me the value of S2. Now next step is to find this value of S2 in this uh, column of stress and extract the corresponding longitudinal strain and transverse strain. So uh, we cannot directly find this value of 618.6 in this stress because that value might not be in the data. But we can have a value close to this 618 value. So you can simply scroll down in this uh, stress column because we have uh, a limited range of data so we can we can do that easily. So here you can see that we have stress 551 and we have stress 631. We don't have a point for 618. So I can simply copy these two points and paste these two points over here. Let's copy these titles as well. Paste them over here. We need value of longitudinal strain and lateral strain corresponding to 618 point. Here we have 551 and 631. And we want data for 618. So I'm going to select this. We can do uh, interpolation to find the value of longitudinal strain and lateral strain corresponding to stress. So for simplicity, I'm just going to use the linear forecast formula. And this is how you use this. This is the value for which I want to find the uh, strains for. So I'm going to select this value first. So this will be my x value. And then you have to select the known y's. These are my y values and then you have to select the known x. So these are the known x values. Bracket close, press enter and this is the strain, longitudinal strain corresponding to 618.6. And for the lateral strain you can again use the formula of forecast dot linear. We want value of lateral strain corresponding to this longitudinal strain. Select this. In this case, this will become my x value, then select known y values, and then select known x values. Bracket close, and this is the value of epsilon t2. So this is epsilon 2, this is epsilon t2, and this is s2. So you can put these values in this main data uh, table. So epsilon 2 is equal to this value, epsilon t2 is equal to this value. Now we have to find value of S1, Epsilon1 and Epsilon T1. We know that Epsilon1 value is given by ASTM which is equal to 0 0.00005 which is equal to 50 millionth strain. And now you have to find the value of S1 and Epsilon T1 corresponding to this value. So go to your column number A which is data for longitudinal strain and find this value in this uh, column. So again, I'm simply going to scroll down. So here you can see that you have this value and this value. And 50 million point is somewhere between these two values. So I'm going to again select both of these values. Go to the top and paste these values over here. The value of epsilon 1 is known. So I'm going to write it here as 50 millionth point. And you have to find the value of lateral strain and stress. So again, I'm going to use the formula of linear forecasting for uh, simplicity. Forecast linear. This is the value for which we have to find the lateral strain and stresses for. So this will become my x value. These are known y values. These are known x values. So we have found the value for lateral strain. Here I'm going to again use the linear forecast formula. Select the value of x. Select the value of 
known y's then select the values of uh, known x close the bracket and this is the value for s1 so again in your main data put the value of stress 1 and put the value of epsilon t1 so here you can see that your table is complete and now you can find the modulus of elasticity and poisson ratio using the formulas given in this astm c469 so formula for modulus of elasticity is s2 minus s1 divided by epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 and i'm going to further divide it by 1000 because i want my modulus of elasticity value to be in ksi and for poisson's ratio i have epsilon t2 minus epsilon t1 divided by epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 so this is the value for the poisson's ratio